Hey, Dawson. I, I think the viewers are confused. Like, what, what are we doing? Why are we getting on the spaceship? I, I don't think the viewers know anything right now. Yeah, sure. I guess I can explain some stuff. So basically, after the nuclear bomb went off, um, William has some still radiation sickness, but he's recovering from it. For now, th those 15 nuclear bombs have detonated all over the United States. And now we have to momentarily live in space is why we're getting on the space shuttle. And if you were curious, I guess. But that is if you didn't watch last episode and you don't actually tune into our stuff and watch our playlist. But, yeah, that's what me and William are doing. On board the spaceship. All right, William. Now, just remember, we have to wait for everyone else to get on. So, do not keep asking them to take off because you're bored. We will be in space soon. I've never been to space before. Yeah, actually, you have. Remember... We went to space, and that's literally what started all this. Oh, that's right. I'm an idiot sometimes. Just don't remember that. All right, that's everyone. Send her away. Mm. Hey, um, sir, just curious. How fast is this, um, spaceship? Well, it's so fast that we only need to put one wing on it. Well, that tells me everything. And then we started preparing for takeoff. Now, most aircraft need to, like, you know, start up and then take off. But no, we actually go straight up and then fly. You ready? You'll get probably knocked off your feet for a few seconds because we go, like, Mach 5, I think. That's impossible. Well, apparently he says so. Shut up, William. What? Alright, let's go. Engaging and take off boosters. Whoa! Keep your balance, keep your balance. Once we're out of the Earth's atmosphere, you'll be able to stand up and it won't be so bumpy. We're not going fast enough. It's going to take another five minutes with the speed we're going. Engaging booster number three. Okay, we're out of the Earth's atmosphere now. So, you can stand up and walk around. Oh, and um, I'd just like to point out, since it's a spaceship and we're in space, we're going faster than a plane at takeoff speed. It might not look like it, but we are. So, Dawson? Yeah, William. How long do we have to stay up here? Uh, I'm not sure of it. They um, aren't telling us. My name's Dawson. No, your name's William! <sighs> Fine. What, Dawson? What? My name's William! What, well, William? Have you found out yet? No, I have not. Okay, guys. If you can hear me over the speakers, which you probably can, we are going to land on that meteor over there. And we are going to stay there for a couple days, and then take off again. I have a question! What's your question? How long are we going to be there for? Um, once the radiation and fallout clears up, which could actually take a while, 
we'll think about going back. You guys might not come with us, but because we have to test the atmosphere first. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, William. Now we behaved. Because we're landing now. And don't crash, please. Let's land next to that giant Alexa-looking boulder. <sighs> wow. That was a smooth landing. Let's just, like, get away from this Wi-Fi router-looking cliff. And land over here. We've officially landed, turning off engines and turning on GP. Meow, engines off. GP is activated. So now what? Hey everybody, my name is William. It's kind of dark. Should I turn on my flashlight? Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Please do. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. <sighs> Whoa, that's bright. But we can see at least. Okay. Can everyone hear me over the microphone? Yeah. I am the soldier in the front of the pl spaceship. Come on, man. And we need to send somebody out to test the um, air because we can't just, like, go out there and just expect everything to be good. I'm looking out the window right now. I don't see trees, and plus, it's basically space out there. Like, I can see Earth from here. Yeah, we're gonna at least pretend that's Earth. Um, who volunteers to go out? I volunteered that kid. No, I mean, wait, wait. So you're gonna volunteer the only little kid who happens to be a girl? Yep. Okay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Doors down. Chuck her out. <gasps> I can't get out. You guys need to move out of the way. All right, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm out. Boom. Ha ha. are burning my homework. Yeah, and killing my dog. And mowing my grass without permission. Sir, I don't know how that's a bad thing. William, stay out of this. Sorry. Please, let me back <coughs> Is there even gravity out there? Oh, she's gone. I bet there is. Not. <coughs> Well, that's mostly unfortunate. I wonder what Hitler's doing down there on Earth right now. Hello, Germany. My name is Hitler, but I expect you put to refer to me as God. Now, we are building another nuclear weapon to take over Japan. What? I thought we were allies with Japan. No, we need to take over the world. Didn't Japan get hit by a nuclear bomb in World War II? Yes, but we are going to drop another one on the capital. <sighs> it's in production right now. Now, I need to go drink my coffee. And other stuff. You shouldn't be here, what are you doing? Oh, hello Alexa. We're trying to set up a civilization. You need to leave right now. Why? Hello? Exa? Exa? It starts with an uh, but... Okay. Alexa, you need to tell us why we have to leave, please! Why do we have to leave? There is a strange looking meteor up there with an object on it. It might be an evacuated aircraft. We need to file a missile. Right now. Yes, boss. That's good! Yes, Hitler. Whatever. Firing now.
Okay, that's good, that's good. <sighs> William, we're joining the Air Force. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Lego Files.